Hey, what's up you guys? Are you having trouble drawing comic book characters? Well, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to draw Black Panther. The process I'm gonna be showing you guys can be used pretty much when you draw anything. And because the movie is coming out, I decided that this would be a great time to do some Black Panther sample pages. So here it is. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to draw this panel right here. And yeah, let's get right into it. So usually the way I start out is I rough in the basic forms. You can see I'm drawing in the head right now, but it's really basic. I'm not really focusing on any details and I'm keeping it pretty loose. So you can see I'm kind of changing up the proportions if I don't like it. This is kind of the stage where you can play around with poses and if there's anything you don't like, you can erase it and redraw it. Once you start putting in more of the details and going in with like um, harder lines, it starts getting tougher to go back and change things. So this is where I really want to make sure everything is where it needs to be. Um, and yeah. Also during this stage I kind of rough in the muscles as well. You can see I draw all the muscles and where the little indentations on the face are. This is just for me to know where to shade later and where kind of the details should go. So I think I'm just about done sketching in the basic shape and soon I will get my kneaded eraser and yeah there we go and now I can start going in with a tighter line you can kind of still see the underdrawing and I'm basically just going over that with a tight line so it's cleaner and it's not very messy Now that I got a cleaner line, I'm going to start going in and defining a few of the shapes and I'm going to start dropping in shadows soon. Yeah. So I'm going to start putting in line weight as well as dropping in shadows, everything that's turning away from the light source. I'm not sure if I did it over here, but usually I'll draw an arrow where the light source is so I know. Uh, kind of where it is while I'm drawing so I can keep it consistent and that kind of helps me get the illusion across of a shape with a lot of volume.
So I'm kind of just slowly building up the shadow over here and I'm just tossing in little shapes and this kind of comes with experience. It's a little bit of a shortcut. If I don't know um, how the muscle looks underneath, I'll kind of drop in the shape, see if it looks correct. And if it does, I'll keep it. If it doesn't, I'll kind of erase it and do it again. So I'm pretty much done over here and I think I skipped the cross hatching for this one because I mostly wanted to focus on the overall form, the shapes, the shadows, and yeah, I covered cross hatching in some of my other videos, so you guys can check that out. But I should be done soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you liked it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I left the link to my Instagram in the description down below, so make sure you check that out. Also check out my other tutorial videos, and I'll see you guys next time.